Alrighty. Hello, YouTube. It's time to learn how to play some uh, Elise. So, you almost always want to start red. I can't really imagine a time where you're not going to be starting red buff. Um, yeah, you basically just always start red. Red Krugs and blue. Um, and then you can either look for an invade, a gank, or you can just look to finish the rest of your clear. But I like to get off early ganks or invades, um, especially against Rengar since I beat him uh, level 3. Uh, my clear is faster than him's. Uh, so if he ends up starting blue, or we're going to check to see if uh, their enemy bot lane leashes. But yeah. Yeah, so you want to start by tanking a little bit from your spiders. I guess if Leona really wants to fucking tank, she can. Go straight to your Krugs. It looks like they leashed. So I'm... But that... Maybe they maybe they didn't leash. Did they use any mana? Hmm. Looks like Yumi used a little bit, but she could have just used Q. You kill all these just using spiders. You're in form, and then you just one shot with W like that. Then we're gonna go over to blue. If, uh, if, if I knew they'd warded here, I would go around the other way. But not a whole lot of reason, because I don't believe they warded. We're going to go over here. We don't have to pop any pots, because red buff heals you enough, and you just have a really healthy clear. Your spider seal you and shit. So, take my blue and then look to either gank top, because he's pushed up. You just want to look at your lane states while you're taking camps a lot of the time. So, mid looks like he warded top side, so I think I can get a gank off on top. This guy should hit level 3 off of... Yeah, he'll hit it off one of those minions. Just wait till he uses his stun. Oh. Nice, okay. That could have been bad. But it's fine. Uh, don't know where Rengar is. I mean, I'm assuming he's over here. The gank was better than looking for something on him. This is kind of greedy to just stun Scuttle here. When he get, oh yeah, he's right there. Oh shit, this is really bad. <laughs> Thank god my fucking jacks moved. That was gonna be really trolling me. If you did, if you didn't know, you have a, extra healing from your um, what's it called? Um, you get extra healing when you repel. So pretty nice. I, don't, I feel like a lot of people don't know that. So when you repel, um, your healing is increased by forty percent for five seconds. So if you repel onto something, and you need to like heal a shit ton, and you definitely just do that, right? Uh, I also made sure I took that kill just because I'm going to carry and I want to keep double buffs on me. I don't, going for mid might look like something I want to do there, but I don't because I want to get this back off. It's way better. Also, I swear to God, if I see another... Uh, I'm going to swap to Red Trinket here. I'm only going to get one ping. I don't want to spend too much money yet. Um, uh, but it's really... Uh, oh, well, Marado? Oh, wait. This guy's no flash. Oh, he's going to walk into it. Oh, wait a minute. Yikes. Closed. Um, yeah, my Krugs respawn. Mid-Q animation, use your smite to get it lower because your Q does more damage the lower health they are. Um, Rengar is going into his top side, it looks like. I can go do chickens now. You never do chickens on your first uh, rotation of camps because you don't uh, take talismans, so you actually take a shit ton of damage from chickens. And it's really unnecessary and it takes you way too long. And somehow my top laner is now dead in the 1v1. Wait, he's 15 CS? Wait, how's he so far behind? I fucking. I guess me taking the kills isn't the best thing for, I guess, his lane, but two assists is nice. 
Hmm. Pretty sure this is already gone. Nice. <laughs> um, Informative Kyle is cringe. Oh, I Don't did. edit this out, you poo dollar Y. That's toxic. I guess they just fucking knew. Hmm. He has no win wall, so he's pretty fucking free. Plus, this guy hit a really good stun. Let me shove this so this guy can get a recall off. Nice. Actually, actually. We can win this really, really hard. Yo, I'm fucking trolling, bro. Fuck. <laughs> you don't actually need to hit your cocoon there, bro. <laughs> A lot of people end up like using repel when they shouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little low. But give me this bad boy. Oh shit, dude. I guess we're just doing this. Yeah, what is happening right now? <laughs> this is such a troll call. It fucking worked. All right. Well, I'm just gonna take these and then uh, see. This is how healthy a least clear can be, and how much you can heal. I could repel onto this to heal a little more, but I don't think it's necessary. I can still full clear here <laughs> after being that low. It's not the best idea, but my lane should be able to be fine by themselves for a second. Yeah, thank you for the 420, by the way, Leo. I don't know what the enemy team was thinking there. They, they kind of just, like, ran it at us. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm also so fucking strong right now. Like, I can 1v1 anybody on the enemy team. I can almost 2v1, honestly. If I get the jump on the first one, then I can probably 2v1. After I buy, of course, because I'm sitting on 2k gold, so I don't really want to look for a whole lot of anything, and uh, no. This guy's playing a little too aggressive, and he didn't have flash. I'm just going to soak this wave. Hmm. I don't know what this guy's doing. I, I'm i actually really confused. Maybe it's like a form of soft end. But definitely don't do what the Yasuo just did there. If you guys if you guys can prevent yourself from doing it, then you're, you're fine. Just definitely don't do what he did. And if you have if you have blue, like you can use mana or you can use cocoon on the creeps to like make it so that your spiders tank immediately afterwards. Yeah, maybe that's just maybe that's just gold Yasuo's. Maybe he wasn't soft inting. Maybe that's just him. Some players are just not as good as others. You gotta you gotta you gotta remember that sometimes. You gotta remember that sometimes your laners are just gonna be down twenty CS from you. Sometimes that's just gonna happen. I'm gonna get blue. Uh, Red Smite would be fine against Rengar, but I'm gonna one shot him anyway. Don't go door. Or that's what I was trying to talk about earlier. Don't go uh, D uh, Dark Seal. It's actually kind of troll to go Dark Seal um, because I mean the Dark Seal honestly is fine. I guess if you have an extra, I, I could have gone it here, but I'd rather get Vision. Um, but like, 
Elise does not do a whole lot with AP, right? It's mainly off of her magic pen. So it doesn't really make sense to go like Mage Ice. Like when I saw Lyra go Mage Ice, I was like, it's gotta be an int, right? So I'm pretty sure they're just gonna like walk up to try and ward this. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around. Okay, it actually doesn't matter. I fucked it up pretty bad, but it shouldn't really it didn't matter. I'm strong enough. Got his flash and heal out as well. Pink ringer, yeah. I don't know if we all needed to flash, uh, but I made sure I dodged his uh, second, or his, his he ignited me, so I just made sure I dodged his Q with my repel, because repel's pretty broken. It has, it's really buggy, which makes up, makes up for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about uh, this guy's flash. I think Leonis was good for the stun, and then mine was good to make sure I followed up to get the damage off before he could get away or something. I probably didn't even need to do mine, but Nico definitely didn't know. What I like about Elise, she falls off. Yeah, dude. Elise just falls off so hard. Um, so we're looking to get Oblivion Orb ASAP. Uh, is he gonna keep fighting him? I think, um... I'm gonna recall here because I can get Oblivion Orb and I can get uh, Stopwatch. I like going for an early Stopwatch on this champ. Actually, this guy's disrespecting. Oh, never mind. <laughs> she backed. She wasn't off it. Buy more pinks. We're gonna swap to Warding Totem um, just because. It's gonna end up being longer because of warding totem, because I because I swap from warding totem to red trinket to pack. But uh, I want to have wards because I want to make sure I have vision over here. Sometimes, like a lot of people are always like feel like they have to be stuck with red trinket, but you don't. You don't have to. You can you can go for wards, dude. Wards are really good, and you can place more than one of them if you have warding totem. You know. Yo. The hell. You follow up with your E, bro. Nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, my bot lane might be a little good, dude. Bot lane, you guys are you guys are not allowed to be doing that well. <laughs> oh yes, it was bot. So I'm gonna take this guy's red and then I'm gonna kill him when he comes for it that's how you that is the best way to tilt the enemy jungler just watch this he's gonna come he's gonna get murdered and then he's gonna be like he he XD slash FF unless this is worded which would be awkward don't believe it is though yeah see like this he's gonna stop to hit that and he's gonna walk over this way dude Okay, well, he's gonna walk that way. He even tried to, like, play safe, too. Respect, bro. Fucking respect. Wait, what the go? Yeah, you know he's, like, flaming his teammates. Like, what the fuck? Nice. <laughs> this Darius is definitely tilted too. Elise is like super good at uh, 
Um, just like, I mean, you literally, you can just do that 24-7, right? Like, you just get into good spots of vision. It's like this guy is gonna... Oh, he's going on my top laner. Top laner, run to me. Top laner, run. Hmm. Didn't even need next auto. Guy is a uh, hex drinker. Also, a big part of Elise is hitting your cocoon, and you just—that's something you just get with practice. A lot of times, though, you should just hold your cocoon. Like you, you don't actually have to use it a lot of time. You can just save it until like they finally, like, um, until they finally commit to going one way or the other. Uh oh, my ten and no jinx just died. Ocean Drake up next. Also, if you want to carry your teammates, a lot of times you actually have to tell them exactly how to play the game. My teammates seem to be like a little knowledgeable, so I don't know if I have to tell them like everything, but it would definitely behoove me to tell them about going for dragon here. Like, we just want to get this game over with, so. Jinx Red. I mean, the other team could also be taking it. No, they can't. Okay, cool. Holy shit. That's pretty funny. This Yasuo does not give a fuck, bro. He has a maw of Malmortius. Eh, I don't give a fuck. I just want to get this game over with, bro. It's a waste of time at this point. We win. Five. Make sure, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't want Harold to. Nice. Oh, that's actually a really good TP from Jax. Nice job. <laughs> and then you just end the game. <laughs> I need to I need a reason to use my stopwatch. Get all my wards out. Get the best vision score possible. Ooh, plus 50. I didn't get my flash off at the end, but that's all right. And basically, guys, that's how you play Elise Jungle. Um, Yeah. Granted, my bot lane was really good. Or at least they were better than the enemy. Uh, my bot lane won 2v2, so that's really helpful. But as you saw, my top was not winning and my mid was not winning. Uh, but I was able to carry them through the, through the game. Wait for you, wait for me. Click and scroll up